Joy! Joy here! Joy here in my closet! I used to take you in my other closet in Kingston, remember? I have so many. I think everything in that closet I made. <laughs> well, I've been making my church clothes, and you asked me to show them to you, and I will. I'm not totally done with the first outfit. The blouse that I showed you the other day that I kind of invented for my SureFit designs, it's all done. The one that I put my head in the armhole instead of the head hole, <laughs> it's all done. And I'll show you something about that in a minute. But this is what I have finished so far for my church clothes. I decided I wanted a long red skirt. I don't know why I decided I wanted a long red skirt. I just decided I wanted a long red skirt. <laughs> so I pulled out my long red skirt pattern. Which one was it? It wasn't this one. I don't know what long red skirt pattern I pulled out. I didn't get it. Oh, I don't have my long red skirt pattern here. <laughs> but I'll get it in a second, okay? So the first thing I wanted to make, don't know if I showed you this yet, was a long red skirt. So here is my long red skirt. It has a flap over here on the side. And it has a huge, huge elastic waist. I like my clothes loose. I can't stand anything tight. Now did I put a ribbon? I didn't put a ribbon yet in the back. But this is the back and so the slit is over here on the left okay so that's the long red skirt so I pulled this fabric out of my stash I came home from church a couple Sundays ago and I thought I want to make a long red skirt so I pulled this stretchy knit out of my stash and then I thought I'm gonna need a top to wear with that long red skirt so I took the red fabric around and I held it up to all my you know, different fabrics, and I found one. I had a whole bunch of them that had red in the print. But I did not have very many that had the right red in the print. So, I found this piece. I showed it to my sister before I made it, and she said, oh, I love that, it's perfect. So I made this. This was the first thing I made to go with this long red skirt. Can you picture it? No, I'm not going to try it on. I'm not in the mood. <laughs> I'm just not in the mood. <laughs> so this is the first thing that I made. When I started trying it on when I was making it, I thought, oh, there's just too much yellow in that. Oh, too much yellow. I look absolutely awful in it. Well, my sister and her husband came over a couple days later. She had to go to the doctor, and her doctor's right by me. And I said, well, come over here after your doctor appointment, and I'll fix you lunch. So she came over, and I showed her this. And she, I showed it to her on me. I was wearing it, I think. I was wearing it with black jeans. Do I have black jeans on? No. I was wearing it with black jeans. And I almost just gagged every time I walked by a mirror. I thought I'd just look horrible in that. And when was it? That Saturday which was a week ago, I don't know, the weeks go by so fast. We had some company, and the company had a little one-year-old girl. And I had never met this one-year-old little girl before. Her name was Emily. And she was the cutest thing, you know, one-year-olds always are. And so I kept trying to hold her. And she just freaked out every time I got near her. And I thought, it's this blouse. This blouse is scaring her. <laughs> And I still think it was scaring her. It scares me. So the next morning I got up and the little girl was crawling around in there. And I went over and I picked her up. I held her the rest of the day. No problem. So I just swear it was this stupid shirt. <laughs> so I don't like this stuff. I like the top. I just don't like it on me. So I decided. I decided after my sister left that day that. No, it was before she got here. I had decided 
Before my sister even came that day for lunch, I couldn't stand that top, and so I made a different one. So here's the second one that I made. See? See? Isn't that way calmer? Ah, uh, isn't it way easier? <laughs> isn't it way don't shock all the people in the churcher? <laughs> I like it way better. And so then, when I came in my closet to hang up the bright yellow neon blouse and this blouse, I found another blouse that has the exact red. It's my Pioneer Woman blouse I bought years ago. And look at the red in that. So I have three tops to wear with my new red skirt that's on the floor. <laughs> Hard to hold up something with that fat of a waist. <laughs> so, I love this with it. I love the blue one with it. That psychedelic one I'm giving to the Goodwill. And I've got to order some hangers that uh, will hold my skirts up. I don't know how many hangers I owned that had the little hooks on them. And I gave them all to the Goodwill. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why I didn't keep them. I just, I never wore skirts. I never dressed up. And I just kind of had them folded over a hanger before. But now I need to get some, some hangers for skirts. I bet you Walmart's got some. I might go there tomorrow. Okay? Long red skirt. So then I wanted to pick another outfit to make for church. So I went looking around for material in my stash. This is why you have to have a stash. I went looking around for material in my stash. And most of my stash these days has come from Fabric Mark Fabrics. Plural Fabrics. Fabric Mark Fabrics. Dot com. Most of my fabric in my stash is from them. So I found this ITY knit. And I thought, oh, that's really cute. I wonder what that would look like on me. So, the next thing you're going to see that I made is something I've made two times before. This skirt right here. Long, straight pencil skirt. I decided I like long skirts for church. And I wanted to first make these really wide pants right there, but I didn't have enough fabric. So I made this top, couldn't make these pants, so then I made the straight pencil skirt. So that's the next outfit. New Look 6384 and McCall 6654. And this is what it looks like. What do you think? <laughs> Is that fun? Is that fun or what? This skirt doesn't have a slit. It's just a long pencil skirt. Everything fits me perfect. Of course, that's why I sew. So let me tell you something about this pattern. Can you tell if I hold it up close that this is not sewn down the center front? It was two pieces, and one piece overlaps the other piece. I finished the neck different. I finished the neck with this binding that sticks up a little bit. There's you just fold it over to the back. I left mine sticking up. Then you lap one side over the other side, and you sew it all the way down the center front. Maybe you can see inside how they overlap. Now the thing about it is, I made this before. A long time ago I made this. And I actually made this in white years ago. And I top stitched it, like in the picture, with black thread. Or did I put, I think I put a black ribbon, a black and white ribbon around it. But sewing that front, you've got to use a knit. It says right here, you've got to use a knit. Sewing that front was very, very difficult. So this time, I helped myself sew it. First thing I did was I put interfacing 5 8 inch down both sides before it was before it was hemmed before it was anything I put interfacing down both sides of the front then I folded the interfacing in 5 8 inch cuz that's what you're supposed to do then you overlap one over the other well I knew that wasn't going to stay good either so I put steam a seam. 
steam a seam to one quarter inch on top of that 5 8 inch interfacing. I just ironed it right on top of it. So then when I folded it in to make the hem, you have to hem down both fronts, it stayed really, really good. Then I used the steam and seam again to iron the top onto the bottom. Then I stitched it. <laughs> so the trick is there. Stabilize, stabilize, stabilize. Does it still stretch? No. This center front is very stable and it does not stretch. The stretch goes around and the stretch is still there in the around part and in the hem part and in the sleeve part. But that center front is stabilized. Okay? So that's two church things right there. And my third one's in the other room. And I have to go show you the most exciting surprise that goes with my other top. Stay right there. I'll be back. Okay, here we are back in the workroom. <laughs> this is my SureFit Designs master pattern changed into this pattern. Remember? I changed it into this top with the princess seams. Okay, so this... Uh, I usually put my patterns in those yellow bags like you just saw. Those yellow envelopes. But for some reason, I decided to do this one this way. <laughs> because then I can keep separate the ones that I did with my SureFit Designs, you know, poster board template, and I can keep them separate. I'm sure there won't be that many of them. Well, maybe there will. No telling. <laughs> so that's the pattern pieces, and this is the top all done. Now, there is a slight possibility that maybe I can't get it on. <laughs> it's supposed to have a zipper in the back, remember? And I didn't catch that on the pattern. So it's all done with the sleeves and I haven't even tried to put it on. Here's the slits I told you about down here at the bottom. So I said, Jerry said, well, what are you going to wear that with? And I said, I don't know. I said, I guess I need to go to a fabric store and find some fabric because I don't really have a lot of nice fabric for pants. But guess what I found? Guess what I found? I was so surprised. Look at this. This fabric is silk and cotton. Silk and cotton. And it matches it perfect. So these will be the pants that go with this top. So I'm going to cut these pants out and make them tomorrow. I wanted to use the Cutting Line Designs pants because I just love those. Those fit me so, so good and they have a little slit in the bottom and I really like them. But I don't have the Cutting Line Designs pattern here at this house. It's at my other house. Pardon the pins. The pins won't be there. That was just to keep the facings down. So look at it with no pin. <laughs> So this is what I'm calling, you know, of course you can wear it anytime, anywhere, but I'm calling it one of my church outfits. So that will give me three. I just finished this one 30 minutes ago. And so I'll finish this one tomorrow. And uh, I'll wear these three until I go to my other house and I bring all my church outfits here from there. And then I'll have a whole bunch. <laughs> okay, let me show you something else. My sister was here the other day. My sister's name is Janice. And she had on the prettiest top I've ever seen in the whole wide world ever on anybody. Mostly because of the print. She doesn't like me to take her picture. She doesn't want to be in my videos and she doesn't want me to take her picture. <sighs> but she had on, she, I think she had gotten that fabric from Fabric Mark Fabrics. It was probably an ITY. But it was just the most beautiful print. Just beautiful beautiful look like silk and it fit her my sister knows how to make things fit her too she just she's known it before I knew it she knows how to do it she's been sewing just as long as me in fact she's been sewing longer because mother gave her some material when she was young to take in her room and sew together probably with a needle and a thread and she made a garment for one of her dolls or something and <laughs> I never did that 
So this is a pattern. Of course I wanted to make it when I saw it on her. And it's a pattern that I actually don't own. <laughs> so I had to buy it from eBay. And I don't know what I paid for it. Probably eight, ten dollars. But somebody on eBay had it, and it's Simplicity 8453, and it says easy to sew. And it does look easy. It has that asymmetrical line in the front, and it also has that asymmetrical line in the back. Now she made hers out of all the same fabric. And you could see those two lines just fine. So I'm going to make mine. It's going to be another one of my church tops. <laughs> this, of course, I don't have my sure fit designs with. But I probably can use this pattern. It's a simplicity. And uh, I think I can make it fit me. She made it fit her really good. I will probably narrow the neck because I can't stand my bra straps to show. And I have a little neck and little shoulders and stuff like that. Yeah, but don't, don't go down too much below my neck. <laughs> About where the little ends. <laughs> okay, real cute. You might want to see if you can grab it from eBay or Etsy or someplace. It was gorgeous on her. All right, we're up to the barn project now. The barn project has stalled. We had over eight inches of rain in one day. My nephew came out with his friend Jason and they actually had to put this plastic fence up around the whole side of the barn pad where the extra dirt was or all the dirt would be gone. They built that and it kept all the dirt from washing away eight inches in one day and then I don't know how many inches the next day but we have had rain. First no rain, no rain, no rain and then way too much rain. <laughs> so the barn project's on hold. Uh, I have lots of sewing time the rest of this week because the barn project's on hold because everything's too wet. So some big truck is coming to drop off some big piece of equipment on Friday. And then next Monday, our barn is going to start going up off the grass and onto the cement. So that will be an exciting week next week watching that go up. I just remembered we have a winner. <laughs> Her name is Amanda, and I just love that Amanda won. She was number seven, and she is going to make the panel uh, the, and do a quilt and hang it in the Sunday school classes at her church where the little kids go. So I was just super, super excited uh, that that's where that is going to end up. That's where it belongs. So congratulations, Amanda. I'm so happy that you won it. I have not mailed it yet. Too much rain. I wasn't in the mood to go to the post office. I didn't want to get our boat out of the garage. <laughs> but I'll get it out this week sometime and get it mailed to you. I'll probably have some more giveaways because I have so many things <laughs> that instead of taking to the Goodwill, which um, I, I guess a lot of people go to the Goodwill to buy fabric and buy patterns, but I would much rather give these things away to you. So stay with me and I'll probably be giving more things away as the days go by. Good morning, my friends. It is November 6th. Finally. <laughs> it is November 6th. <sighs> I told you I would show you the pattern for the red skirt, and I'll go back and plug it in. I'll have the place to plug it in. But just in case um, you didn't notice it, it is this same pattern that I made the blue top to go with the red skirt. I've made this skirt several times, but it's on. I have this pattern two times, and it's on the other copy. But it was Simplicity 1698, and it's this blue skirt right there with the slit. So that's the red. And uh, I'm very, very pleased with it. You can notice that my top is gone. If you can see the door, the top is gone. <laughs> I took it in my closet this morning to make sure I could get it on now that it has sleeves. And I can. It's, it's a little snug, but once it's on, it's on. And it uh, looks just fine. So very, very, very happy with that top that I sort of invented. And now I'm going to make pants to go with it. Jerry's not here right now. He won't be back till Friday or Saturday. And I don't, I don't know if I want to wait for him to get back. 
to make the pants because I'd like to use my Louise cutting pattern and it's at the other house. I have a whole list of things that he's going to bring back. Why did I not go with him? <laughs> because he was only going to be there a couple days. He was going to pick up some tools that he needs to finish his boat and I needed to be here for some repair people who are coming for repairs in the house. One's coming today for a uh, thermometer, what do you call the thing where you turn the heat up and down? We have one in our bedroom that's round and somehow it hooks up to your phone or your computer or something and Jerry and I don't know how it works. It's absolutely crazy. I will set it when we leave town, like in the summertime, instead of leaving it on 70 like I do when we're here in the house, I'll turn it up to like 75 or 76 because we don't care if it's warm in the house when we're not in it. And I'll do all the thermostats that way. We'll come back three weeks later and that goofy thing is back on 70. It does it all by itself. It drives me nuts. <laughs> well, I got to quit saying that. Um, you know, there's a certain place when you're going past nuts and we got to be careful there. <laughs> so I'm real happy with the garments I have made recently. I I should make a pants, but the um, out of the SureFit designs, a pants poster board, but the poster board isn't long enough. I'd have to tape it together. So I don't guess I'll do that. And I don't really use the SureFit designs pants very much. The actual pattern, the way it comes out without you changing it, is a pretty wide leg. And wide legs are actually in right now. But I just, I can make most any pattern fit me by Palmer and plushing it. And for those of you who might be new and you have no idea what I just said, there is a company called Palmer and Plesh. Plesh is P-L-E-T-S-C-H. And the plesh part of the company is no longer there. Um, I don't know if she's there and just, you know, doesn't want to be seen, but Patty Palmer's there. And uh, the company still exists, and they have wonderful products, wonderful books, wonderful videos, and I always use their interfacing. Look them up on YouTube, Palmer and Plush System. You'll probably get me, but don't look at me, look at them. <laughs> and all it is, is taking the paper pattern out of the envelope. This one is done. And I always end up putting it in a different envelope for obvious reasons. You take the paper pattern out. You figure out the best size of the pattern. Maybe you want a 10 on the top and a 12 at the waist and a 14 at the hip. You cut it as close as you can to what you think is going to fit you. Then you trim it. Then you mark the seam allowance with a red pencil. Then you pin the seam allowances together where you tape it. I mean, there's so much on it. You don't need me to tell you the whole thing right now. But anyway, you pretty much build the garment with the paper pattern. Then you put it on yourself, the paper. And then you see how it fits you. <laughs> and of course, paper isn't going to fit like fabric does, especially if you're using a knit fabric. But you put it on and you see number one thing. Does center front meet your center front? Is it an inch away from your center front? Is it an inch past your center front? Center back, same thing. Is the center back to your center back? Is it way before it or is it way after it? Up here at the neck. Does the neck come up to your bone here? Or is it way low? Or does it come way high? The, the back of your neck being too low means you have a round back. Almost everybody has a round back. Children have round backs. Husbands have round backs. <laughs> because of computers and cell phones, everybody's always like this. You know, you need to train yourself to stand up straight. I was walking through the house last night like this, and I thought, oh my goodness, I need to stand up straight. <laughs> stand up straight as long as you can. I'm going to let you go right here, and then I will start another Snippetville. Here's the thing. I want to buy a cabinet for out here in the hall. You know, you have this great big entryway here. And I want to buy a cabinet that has doors and drawers because I need more storage. These rooms are just packed and my closet is packed. And when Jerry and I sell our other house and move here, we're gonna to have to use all the closets in this house for our clothes and our shoes and things like that. So I have got to get them cleared out 
and I want to get this cabinet for out here. I found it the other day at a, a furniture store, and it won't be here for 8 to 12 weeks, but I have to pay for it. All of our extra money right now is going toward the barn, but they told me I could put how much down? 10%? 25? I think they said I could put 20% down, and then I could have no interest for a year or something. I don't know, whatever it was. I was walking out the door and leaving, and I said, I'll be back when the barn's done. And she said, well, you know, we have this deal right now where you could finance it for no interest. I said, oh, really? How much do I have to put down? Because Jerry just hates it when we do that. <laughs> but I said, I have enough money, YouTube money, for the part you would have to pay at first. And so Jerry said, fine, do it. But I have to make the rest of the money now. So watch my YouTube videos, will ya? I'm watching them. I've got them playing out there in the living room. <laughs> I'm letting the commercials play. And I'm just watching. Enjoy every time I walk in the living room. There I am on the TV. It's so funny because I usually don't do that. But um, for some reason, they don't know that's my TV and this is my house. I, I don't know how it works. Or maybe they don't care if I watch my own videos as long as I watch the commercials. That's probably it. So, depending on how much you like me, <laughs> will you leave me a thumbs up? That will make more people watch my videos. If you leave me a thumb up, a thumb. It says thumbs, but you only have to leave one. Leave me a thumbs up under my videos when you watch them. And leave me, you always leave me a comment. But that way, um, if somebody looks up a sewing video or a quilting video, YouTube will recommend me depending on how many people seem to like your videos, okay? So if you'll help me make some money to pay for my new cabinet, <laughs> I would really appreciate it. All right, my friends, end of this snippet, Bill. I'll be back soon.